Let us keep praying as we wait. Almighty Father, I thank you, Father, for the word you have sent to us. You have sent to your children that are in Europe. Thank you, Lord. I pray that your word will deliver them. Your word will establish them on your way. On the life of righteousness and holiness. On the life of heaven. Thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. What you should not seek for. I am going to present nine things to you which the Lord is saying you should not seek for them. Number one, do not seek for hell fire. God is saying, don't seek for hell fire. Don't look for it. Don't look for it. It is a bad place. Those that go to hell so far everlasting. So the Lord is advising you don't say for hell. Don't follow the path that will end you in hell. Don't do those things that will bring hell to your life. That's the word of God. In the book of Mark chapter 9. Mark. Chapter 9, the Lord is giving us warning there from verse 43 to verse 48. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life man than having two hands to go into hell into the fire that never shall be quenched. The Lord is saying, please Whatever it will cost you, embark on the cost, accept on the accept the cost, don't seek for hell. Don't take hellfire as an alternative. Don't make up your mind to go to hell. This is what the Lord is saying. Yes. Where their womb dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. The wombs of hell don't die. The fires of hell don't quench. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, don't seek for hellfire. Don't make up your mind that you are ready to go to hell. Please. 
He's saying, and if thy food offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter hold into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where the womb dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Suffer whatever suffering presents itself to you in the present life. Accept any deprivation that, the, that this lie can give you. Don't go to hell. I wish I could plead with you more. Don't go to hell. God says it is not a good place. Is warning you don't go there. Whatever persuasion you are passing through by the devil, saying you can have this and go to hell, you don't bother. Don't agree. God says, I should tell you, don't go to hell. Don't seek it. Don't conclude in your mind that you have chosen hellfire. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 15. Isaiah 28, verse 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves. That is what you are saying. That you will not die now. As a result, you will see none. That is what you are saying. And that is the thought of hell. Hell will overtake you. Your thought that you will not die now is a bad thought, is a wrong thought, is hellish thought. Hell will overtake you. Your, your thought that you are at agreement with hell, that it will not take you now. Until far later, God is saying, even if you have the whole world and enjoy it to the fullness of your life, it will not be, it will not, it will not be worthy to exchange your life from with hell. It will not pay you to have all the pleasures life can give. If at the end you can go to hell, it will not pay. Don't go there. God is saying, don't make those conclusions. Don't make those conclusions. I am ready to go to hell. I don't bother. It's a costly thing you're saying because hell is not a place to go to. You are sitting under a lie. You are acting under hypocrisy. And you don't bother because you're not thinking hell will happen now. Oh, don't do that. Don't sit under a lie. Don't move on under pretense. That is hellish lie. 
And God is saying, please don't go there. Hell is not a place for you. You can't endure it. You can't bear it. Don't seek for hell. Therefore, don't live your life under falsehood. Don't do business of falsehood. Don't promote yourself by falsehood. Don't play zeal in falsehood. That is the life of hell. Don't go to hell. Repent and turn back from that type of life. Please, don't go to hell. That is the first thing. The Lord will want me to tell you, as a result, brother, who art, who art in Christ, sister, that is in Christ, number two, don't backslide. Because to backslide means you want to go to hell. Don't backslide. If the devil is saying you should turn back, you have stayed enough. You have not married for too long. You should backslide and marry. It is a life of hell. Don't agree. If the devil tells you, make it, get money, get possession, backslide and get these things. Get world. Don't agree. Don't backslide. It's a life of hell. It will lead you to hell. Don't. However strong it is in the family, your husband is hot against you. Your wife is stubborn against you. Now you think to backslide and handle it. You think to backslide and handle him. Please, please, don't. 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 Don't backslide. It will take you to hell. That God is saying you should not go there. That is the word of God. Is the cry God has you has for you today? God is pleading. He doesn't want to lose you to hell. He doesn't want to lose you to hell. He doesn't want you to backslide. In the book of Hosea, chapter eleven, verse seven. Hosea. Chapter 11. We read verse 7. The Bible tells us, saying, And my people are bent to backslide from me. Kai, why are you doing that? Why? Why are you bent to backslide from God? Why are you forcing yourself to backslide? Why are you hardening your heart? Why do you plan to backslide? Because of marriage. Oh, because you have not gotten a child. You have not gotten a job. You want to backslide. Please, don't. Don't. God is saying, and my people are bent to backslide from me. Why? Your prayer life is gone and you're doing nothing about it. 
You are not attending fellowship again, then you're doing nothing about it. The devil has gotten hold of you. You are you're not bothering because you're ready to backslide. Oh, bye. Don't backslide. Don't. Don't. Please don't backslide from holiness revival movement. Please don't leave holiness movement. Thank you, Jesus. This is the voice of your creator. Again, number three. Don't seek your will. That's what God says. I say what you should not seek for. Don't seek for your will. Don't. A backslider is full of his own ways. A backslider does not mind the will of God by his own will. And that is the life of hell. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. The end of that ways are the ways of death. They are the ways of hell. Don't go to hell. In the book of Luke chapter 22, verse 42. Luke chapter 22, verse 42. The word of God says, Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Even Jesus did not want at the time, did not want what God wanted. But he said, not my will. Why is it that you, God, talk to you? This is what I want you to do. You say, I don't want that. You're standing on it. Come, did you create yourself? Do you know yourself? Do you know tomorrow? Can you tell the mind of God? How can you seek your own will? Can you overcome the devil by your power? What was the purpose of your creation? What was the purpose of your being born again? How will you say you don't want the will of God? And your will is too strong for me. Ah, ah. Man, you want to die. If you don't want you the will of God, what if he kills you? Are you not going to hell? And God says, don't go to hell. God is saying, tell him. Tell her, she should not go to hell. Why are you seeking your will? Why do you think everything must please you? Why must you be the way to dictate, the one to dictate the way for God? Did Jesus do it when he was on earth? Did everything favor him? Did he not allow the will of God to prevail? Why are you not allowing the will of God to prevail? Brother, the Lord is talking to you. Don't go to hell. Don't backslide. Don't seek your will. My sister, the Lord is talking to you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. Don't backslide. Don't seek your will. Even if it requires suffering, suffer. Did not God suffer? Did not Jesus suffer? He said, I come according to the volume of the book. 
written on, written on me to do thy will, O God. The Son of Man has come to save those that are lost. The Son of Man has come to lay down his life for sinners. Wow. Are you not ready to suffer for sinners? Wow. Are you not ready to undertake the will of God to serve sinners? What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the, the, whole, the, the whole world and lose his soul? Are you not foolish that if the driver is carrying you in a vehicle and you say, no driver will not go with you again? And he should drop you in a forest. What will you do? In the thick of the night. Do you know the nature of that place? Do you know the armed robbers that are there? Do you know the wild beasts? Can you see the snake on the ground? How can a sensible man come to a, a, a desert place? And say, driver, I'm not going with you again. How can you come to this point and say, God, I will not go with you again? Then how will you live your life in this world? Where Satan is, where sickness is, where evil is, where wicked men and women are. How can you say you don't want the guidance of God anymore? Kai, don't do it. That is what the Lord is saying. What you should not seek for. Please don't seek for these things. Those that have them are not living well. Their future is terrible. Those that lived in this way, uh, it didn't end well. I know one of them. His name is called Cain. He killed Abel. Even when God wanted him, he said, God should leave him alone. Hey! He became a vagabond. Useless. He cried. My punishment is too much for me. I knew one of them again. He was Pharaoh. The king of Egypt. That said he would never allow the children of Israel to leave Egypt. He didn't know God. He would not obey him. He will not do the will of God. He brought disaster to his kingdom. Eventually died at the Red Sea. I knew him. Will you follow his path? How will you say you don't want to do the will of God? <laughs> God showed you a man to marry. A child of God. And you knew clearly this is the voice of God. He said, no, I won't do it. Ah. Uh, are you reasonable? Do you have real senses? Then how will you live your life? Which way are you going to have the pleasure of marriage? Who have refused the will of God in marriage? Uh, again, don't seek your greatness. Don't. Don't seek your greatness. God did not bring everybody to the world for greatness. He brought him, people to the world to serve him. The first thing is that a person should serve the Lord, not for greatness. Whom are you going to mention greatness to? When Jesus came to the world, which greatness did he acquire except the one that God gave him? What greatness did Peter get except the one that God gave him? What greatness did Paul get except the one that God gave him? And he said, if I will glory at all in life, if I will glory for any greatness, greatness in suffering. That is what he's saying. He was beaten. He lacked food. 
He was hated. He was stoned to death. He was, everything was done on him. They despised him. They did not even give him the honor of apostle. Hey! Is that the greatness you are looking for? Yes, you want, to, you want to sit on the chair. You want to be rolling up and down. You want people to carry you with hands. You want people to carry you with the head. You want people to announce your name. Uh, the whole world should hear. Is that the reason why God brought you to the world? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 45, verse 5. Jeremiah 45, verse 5. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. Seek them not. For behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, see the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places whither thou goest. You hear? God said, by reason of the evil that is coming in the world, by reason of the evil that is coming into that society, don't waste your time seeking greatness. Don't waste your time seeking great things. I will build a house. I will buy a house. I will establish this. I will establish. Don't seek them. But I will give you a name. It is me that will give you what will, what will bless your life. Seek life in me. Not in yourself. You are lost seeking great things. You are lost gathering money for great things. You don't even have time for God because you are looking for great things. You are wasting your energy. You are wasting your strength. You are on the wrong direction. You are speeding towards a wrong direction. Your destination has been changed by wrong vision. Things you should not seek after. Greatness. Let the, the Lord show you the way. Don't choose a way to follow. When Abraham told Lord and said, choose where you will go and separate from me for our peace. Lord lifted up his eyes and looked at Sodom, a well-watered garden. And that is where he said, I am going. I'm carrying my people, my cattle all. We shall eat and drink. We shall live and prosper in a well-watered garden. That is where I'm seeing over there. He never saw the fire that shall fall on those nations. He never saw the disaster that shall kill all the cattle he has to get down with his henchmen. He never saw them. He was rather seeing greatness. He was not going by the way of God. He didn't allow God to choose for him. He didn't allow God to direct his ways. Lord. Lord. All your property shall be gone. Lord, your wife shall die. Lord, your daughter shall become incest and prostitute. Lord, bastards shall be born by you. Because you are seeking greatness, you are not seeking the mind of God. You are not seeking the ways of God. You are not seeking the guidance of God. You're not seeking the leadership of God. You're not seeking the direction of God. You're using your eyes. You're using your mind. 
Wrong calculation. Hmm. That's what the Lord is telling you. These things will hell you, end you up in hell. There is a way that seemed right unto a man. The end thereof are the ways of death. Ways of hell. God is saying, don't go to hell. Don't go there. Hey. You have seen a beautiful woman. That is the woman you want to marry. Even when the Lord says no, you say no. You are seeking that woman. You will backslide to go and marry her. Hey, Kai. It is after marriage. It's after 10 years in marriage. It's after 20 years in marriage. It is when you are in your weak state and un unfavorable stage of life. You will know what it means by doing your own thing. You will know what it means by rebellion against God. The God that declares the end from the beginning says, don't go that way. Come and follow this way. He said, no. That one is not beautiful. That one is old already. So, that is the Lord saying unto you. Again, don't seek your independence. That's the whole thing now. I created him for my glory. But you seek to stay away from God <laughs> because you say you have intelligence. Because you say you know what? You have the know-how. You have the connections. And because you say, I have a dream. I have my vision. If I will go the way God is telling me, I can't achieve it. So I need freedom. If I will follow the church, all these doctrines of righteousness, all this truth, this thing you're teaching me, I will not get it. So you want to withdraw and live a life without God in, for your pleasure. Man, that is the cursed life. That is the cursed life. That's what the world is saying. In the book of Job. Chapter 21. Verse 13. Job 21. And 31. Or 21 rather. Verse 13. They, sp they spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave, that's to hell. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? There are many people that left their countries and feel that in Europe, in America, in some of these Western countries, hey, they will make money. And when they are there, they forget God. The wicked shall be turned to hell. And all nations that forget God, all the people that forget God, those that came from various nations and moved to this western country that forget God, they shall be turned to hell. God doesn't want you to go there. You forget God? Ah, you are getting money cheap now. You forgot the God that created you. He, you didn't say, no, leave me. I desire not the knowledge of the way because you, here we can meet over time. 
tell lies, do everything, get the money you're looking for. Hmm. I listen, I have looked, I have not heard that anybody in Nigeria here, the country I'm speaking from now, went to America, went to Europe, went to another country and got money and became a rich man here. I've never seen, I've not heard. I have no heart. Don't bust over the money of that place. It's not better than the money in your country where you came from. How will you now say God should leave you? I came here for money. Who, you, are, you are deceived. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The people and them that dwell in it, where you are belongs to God. How will you be saying God will leave you alone? How will you say it? I came here for school. Who told you there's no school in your country? It's the mercy of God that took you to another place to see his handiwork. So you can praise him. He took you to a place where you can see the people he created in that region. So you can praise him. You can see the colors of the people. You can see the intelligence of the people. You can see the works of the people and give glory to God because he made them for his glory. Not for your money. Not for your money. For his glory. Then where do you get lost? On things that don't matter. You want to be independent from God because you went to another country? Because you are in another country? You will change your mind from where God dwells. Will you dwell in that country forever? If you die in that country, is there a free visa to heaven? Will you escape hell? Have you made covenant with hell? Has that country made agreement with hell not to touch their citizens? That you are standing running after citizenship of a country on earth that you turn away from God. I said, Lord, leave me alone. I have no desire of your ways. Hey. People have left God and are seeking citizens of countries that have no meaning to their eternity. To the point they are now seeking independence from God. Terrible. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. That life is for hell. Give glory to God wherever you are. He brought you there and can remove you from there. Anytime it is his time. Can he not remove you there by death? Is it only by death he can remove you? He can't remove you when you are still alive. I said, go and give me glory somewhere else. Why are you doing like that? Why is your heart like that? Why have you allowed foolishness to fill your heart? Why are you not thinking well? Why are you not thinking soundly? Huh? That's not the Bible say beta is the end of a thing than the beginning. The place God is taking you to die there is better than the place you have lived all your life. Will you resist God if he's transferring you from there? Is he not taking you to a place where you can die to his glory? Even if he means you should die. I come in the volume of the books it is written of me. To do thy will, O Lord. Simple. Be relaxed in the hand of God. Be relaxed in the hand of your creator. Let him have the full pleasure in your life. Let him do his will in your life. It's not everybody that will fetch water to God. Some are to bring other things, not water. It's not everybody that should bring money to God. Some are to bring other things, not money. All as he tells you, do what he tells you. It is that that will give him pleasure over your life. Not what you are bringing. He said, did I require them from you? 
<laughs> did, I record, did I tell you that is money I'm looking for? Uh, God, don't mind, brother. I will get money and bring to you. Is that what he told you? If I were hungry, or if I am hungry, will I tell you? But that which I want you to do for me, go and do it. Then I will bless you. Isaac said unto Esau, I am dying. Go and get venison for me, that I may eat and bless you. Yours is what you want to go and bring. It is the sacrifice with blood that appeased the mind of God. Esau brought sacrifice of crop and God rejected it. For, for without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Are you now the one to choose your sacrifice to bring to him? Or God should tell you what he should bring. That's why he said, don't be independent. These people practice independent life. Yeah, they practice independent life. And they perished. They perished because of independent life. They spend their days in the world and in a moment go down to the grave. What is the benefit? What is the world? The food, the beautiful food you ate yesterday, did it suffice for today? Is it okay that you stay without food anymore for one month? Because you ate a good food. You got that wealth and then you left the earth. Is it going to account for your future in the world after death? Perish. They went to hell. Independent of God. You say, God, leave us alone. Is that not what they're doing all about there? Is that what not all those unbelievers are doing? Can you convert their lives? Can you convert the life of the wicked that have said God should leave them alone? They wake up in the morning, they don't pray to any God. They don't have the book of the regulation of God. So they don't know any God, no regulation. No law, no divine law. They are free. Do you convey that type of life? They go down to death. Thou hast placed them in slippery place. In a moment they shall disappear. They shall not be seen anymore. Heaven shall not receive them. Heaven shall not receive them. They shall sink into hell. They shall sink into hell. Hell. And that is the place the Lord is telling you, his child, don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. It is not a good apartment. It is not. It is not. Again, the Lord is saying, don't seek the downfall of others. That's man on earth. Let others fall that he may rise. Let others fall that he may rise. You will also fall and others will rise. Will you live that type of life? Yes. You sit at the end of the road. With others, all you want to you want to push them down, that you may rise. Don't know, rise. You will fall down again, and others will rise. 
Why do you want to live a life of disappointment? Why do you want to live a life of sorrow? Always falling. Always falling. Because you are making others to fall. You also will be falling. Don't make others to fall. Take away envy and jealousy from your life. Take away competitive life from you. I must be the greatest. Hmm. The cost of being the greatest, you are not aware. The cost of being the greatest is too high for you. You cannot attend to it. Who is the greatest? The president? When he finishes his term, check how many people will greet him on the road. Check how many will come to his house again and salute him. Then the president is not the greatest in life, actually. Since it's just a moment. Then who he is? It's God that is the greatest. And God has shown us the way to greatness is humility. To be greater, it means you are humbler. To be higher means you should be the sumula. That is it. To be the least among men. And your spirit that is always looking for, looking for, uh, I want to be on top. I will cause people to fall. Can never arrive at the actual spirit of greatness. Don't cause your brother to stumble. Don't cause your sister to stumble. You that are in the church, don't be looking for immorality. Don't be pursuing our sisters for immorality. Don't be pursuing our brothers for immorality. Don't pull them down. Don't get contract of witchcraft over them. Then you must pull them down. Don't do it. You will go to hell. In the book of Romans, Chapter 14, verse 13. Romans chapter 14, verse 13. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Numa! Numa! Should put a stumbling block or occasion to fall on his brother's way. Don't tell lies against your brother because you want people to despise him. You want people to disdain him. You want to pull him down. The lying tongue is but for a moment. You shall be discovered to your eternal shame. That is a hellish life. Don't poison your brother. Don't poison your sister. Don't call, cause breakage between your brother and his wife. Don't do it between your sister and her husband. Don't do it. Don't separate their marriage. Don't take over your brother's wife. Don't. That is the world. Things you should not seek for. To bear tell, to carry evil rumor, things that have not been proved, they are the ones who are passing from place to place to assassinate the character of, of true men, of good men, 
of even being anointed by God. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a life of hell. Don't go to hell. It's a life of backsliding. Don't backslide. That's the world. That's the word. Don't do anything contrary to the name of Jesus. Don't do anything contrary to the gospel of Jesus. Don't do anything contrary to the church of Jesus. Don't do anything contrary to the, to the people of Jesus. It is hard for you to kick against the bricks. It will pierce into your leg and damage you. Don't. You will not succeed. You will not succeed. You will not succeed. Don't do anything contrary to the welfare of holiness revival movement. Don't do anything contrary to the whole welfare of the international director. Or of the ministers he is using in this movement, you won't succeed. It's hellish business. You have you have enrolled for hell. Because you shall not touch the Lord's anointed and be blameless. You shall not touch the apple of God's eye. You cannot. That is what the word of God is telling you in the book of Acts chapter 26. You want to do something contrary to the name of Jesus? You are thinking to do something contrary to the gospel of Jesus? Yeah. Verse 9. Acts chapter 26. Verse 9. To verse 15. I verily thought within myself, thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Which thing or I also did in Jerusalem. And many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests. And when they were put to, to death, I gave my voice against them. And I punished them oft in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme. And being exceeding, exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Whereupon, oh, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests at midday, O oh king, I saw in the, in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. <coughs> and when we were all falling to the earth, I had a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, So, so, where persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against this, the pricks. Then I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Oh, you persecutor of holiness revival movement. Oh, you crit critics against human holiness revival movement. All oh, you bitter against holiness revival movement. You are doing it to Jesus. I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. We are his servant that you are accusing. We are his servant. That you are accusing. We serve him sincerely. 
We serve him truly. You're busy accusing us. You're busy persecuting us. You're persecuting Jesus. Don't do anything contrary to the name of Jesus. Don't do anything contrary to the people of Jesus. That's the world. Don't seek after the fall of anyone. Don't take steps. Don't follow those people. Don't speak anything against the name of Jesus. Don't take any action. Don't withhold money where money is given to the people of God. Don't take that money. Don't turn it to your own. Don't take the land the Lord has given to his own people. Don't do anything contrary to the name of Jesus. Don't. 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 Don't take the church of God to court. It is contrary to the name of Jesus. You are bringing shame to the name of Jesus. To take the church and expose it to unbelievers. Telling stories that don't exist. Matters of strife between you. You said, I'm taking it to court. I'm taking it to court. Is that the word of God or you want to shame the church of Christ? Don't. That is the word. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell, my brother. mean that you should go to hell. God is saying he didn't create you for hell. God is saying he didn't create hell for you. Don't go there. Don't go there. Finally, don't do anything against the truth. That is number nine. Don't do anything against the truth. The truth is eternal. It, it, it doesn't die. Bury the truth. It shall rise after three days. Jesus is the truth. Why are you fighting the truth? Why are you fighting your conscience? It will not work. Your conscience is crying against you for your weakness. Conscience is the voice of truth. Don't do anything against the truth. He that confesses and forsaken shall have mercy. Don't do anything against don't kill any person because you want him. You don't want him to tell the truth. It will not work. The truth will, soon, it will come up. The Bible tells you. He shall find you out. Therefore, has been said about you that is true. Don't reject it. Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse eight. You can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, nothing. You want to write false report? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't write false report. Write true report. Better let it come up now than that it should come up tomorrow to your home, greater harm, to your dead, dead in hell.
That is the world. To restore your life, to recover your life. Devil is destroying your life. He's going to, he wants to take you to hell. God has sent his word to you. Recover. 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 Mighty God. What a great word you have spoken to us today. Give your children understanding of this word you have sent to them to deliver them from hell. Let Let your children learn Let your children seek total dependence on you. Let their faith be in God. For in God they should trust. That is the secret of life. That is the secret of victory. That is the secret of promotion. That is the secret of greatness. That is the secret of achievement. Destroy the works of the devil in their lives. Burn up the works of Satan. Burn up the works of Satan. Bind the power of affliction. We bind the spirit of oppression. We bind the spirit of oppression. We break the power of the devil. Get out from their life, you darkness. We curse you in their life. Come out from their life. Break your power. We command judgment upon you. Your spirit of witchcraft, oppressing, oppressing the people of God, we loose them from your hand. In Jesus' name, our Lord, destroy the spirit of evil dreams. Destroy the spirit of evil dreams that is attacking these people. Burn it with your fire. Lord, set them free. Lord, set them free. Lord, set them free. Lord, loose them. In Jesus' name, Lord, loose them. Any one of them Amen. that is under the spell of the devil. Any one of them that is under the curse of the devil. We loose them in Jesus' name. By your power. Amen. We destroy the spell of the devil over their life. We bind the spell of the devil over their life. My brother be free. My sister be free. Receive the liberty of Jesus. Receive the freedom of Jesus. All your affliction. The Lord take it away. The Lord take your affliction away. May the Lord take your sicknesses away. May the Lord take your diseases away. May the Lord take your disappointment away. May the Lord take your poverty away. May the Lord take your sorrow away. In Jesus' name. Holy God, bless your people. Holy God, lose your people. Holy God, lose your people. Holy God, break the power of the enemy over your people. Set them free. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Deliver them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Give them sweet sleep. Power of Jesus, dwell in their lives. Power of Jesus, dwell in their lives. Power of Jesus, come upon their body. Power of Jesus, kill their body. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, Lord, do judgment. Against the forces of anti holiness, Car, in the name of Jesus, all forces of anti holiness that are working against holiness movement from nation to nation, from chapter to chapter, from unit to unit, bow. I say, bow. My God, bow. I break your power there. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The fire of God burn you up. Burn you up. All your investment. Destroy it. I lose the people of God. By the power of God. You are loose. 
You are free. Jesus, man. Lord, grant them the desire of their heart. Oh, worship. I worship you, Lord. I give thanks to your name. Thanks to your name. Thanks to your name. Jesus' name, we pray. Everybody, shout the name. Shout the name. Shout the name. It is time for your life. It is time for your family. Just listen to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, oh, oh. you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. You can. You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you, Lord. Because you are the living Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Savior. Jesus, I believe.